Good morning, Kinder B students. Happy Monday. Um, here we are at our second week of online mobile learning. Uh, I miss you all so very much. Um, before we get with Bible, um, you could go ahead, I encourage you to go over to um, the playlist and do um, worship we love in class and at home videos. Um, again, I want to do these with you guys. I want you guys to enjoy still worshiping and singing and praising God. Um, and so um, maybe before we begin our Bible story, um, you could go ahead and do that. But I'm going to begin right now. And we are on a new chapter um, in the Bible. And um, this is um, Jesus Loves children amen so i'm gonna hold up my poster so i'm sorry if you guys don't see me but i'm gonna read the um story to you of jesus loves children some people heard that jesus was coming to their town and they got really excited they wanted their children to meet jesus they wanted him to touch their children and pray for them so they called their children when everyone was there, off the families went down the road towards the place where Jesus was. As these families got near to the place where Jesus was teaching, they could see that he was talking to some grown-ups, and they could see that Jesus seemed busy. Yes, they could, because everybody was going to see Jesus. But the people wanted their children to stop to come and meet Jesus. Just then, some of Jesus' friends stepped in front of them, and they stopped the families from getting near Jesus. Jesus was big, busy talking to grown-ups, and his friends thought it was more important for Jesus to talk with grown-ups than children. The people with children started to leave, and they must have felt really, really bad. But suddenly, they heard Jesus speaking to his friends. He had not wanted his friends to send the children away at all. He didn't want that. No. Let the children come to me, he said. Do not send them away. Children can show us what it really means to be part of God's family. So the children came to see Jesus. There they are. There they are. And Jesus took them into his arms. He prayed for God the Father to help each one of them. Jesus showed his love for the children, and the sh children were very special to Jesus. What a wonderful day it was, and the children felt happy because they met Jesus. So, um... So guys, um, let's remember, let's recap this story. Who was Jesus talking to when the families came near? Who was he talking to? Hmm. Oh, did you say it? Yes, he was talking to the adults. Yes. And um, what did Jesus's friends do when they saw families trying to get close to Jesus? What did, what did his friends do? Mia, what did they do? What did they do? <gasps> yes, yes. They said stop. They stopped the families because um, Jesus was really, really busy. And that they weren't, they said that he wasn't, he was too important to talk with the children. What did Jesus do when he saw his friends keeping the children away from him? What did Jesus do, Katerina? What did he do? He told his friends to let the children come. Yes. And why do you think? Let's think about it. I see you thinking, Patrick. I see you thinking. Yes. I see you thinking about it, Nyla. Why do you think Jesus wanted to see the children? Yes, 
Yes, let me hear you louder. Why did he want to see the children? Yes, because Jesus loves everyone, including children. He loves you. He loves me. He loves your families. He loves your friends. He loves everyone. So um, that is the beginning of our week of Jesus and the children. I hope you have a great, great day. I love seeing you. I love talking to you. I love making these videos for you. And everybody say hip hop, hip hip parade. <laughs> okay, you guys have a great day, Kinder B students. I miss you. Let's give a big hug. Wrap your arms around tightly, tightly. And have a blessed day.